Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Michelle McKinney here with Next Home in Palm Coast talking about some of the most frequently asked questions that I get regarding where to live in Palm Coast. So if that's something that you've kind of been wondering about, you've kind of been checking Palm Coast out and it seems really cool, but where do you live in the city? Stick around, this is gonna be a great video for you. And I'll actually share with you what it was that I was looking for when I decided what part of Palm Coast um, I wanted to live in. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of the most frequently asked questions that I get when people are looking to move here regarding what area of Palm Coast they want to live in is, where can I live on the water with my boat. That's like the number one thing that people are looking for when they're moving here, as far as what my experience has been. So if you've got a boat or you want to live on any type of waterway system here in Palm Coast, there's a few areas that you're going to, to look in. We've got the saltwater canal systems here in Palm Coast that are very popular because they have the water available a lot of people like to to boat and that is in the neighborhood of uh, palm harbor so palm harbor consists of a bunch of saltwater canals they're man-made saltwater canals that filter out into the intracoastal waterway and then that then goes up into the matanzas inlet um, and then you can take it up even further into saint augustine and be able to get out to the ocean if you'd like but a little bit of a boat ride um, but yeah if, you, if you're looking to be on a, a saltwater canal with a boat Palm Harbor is a great place to start it's not an HOA community so there's no HOAs and uh, fees involved there or rules involved there um, but let's say you have a sailboat or a boat with a tower on it you're going to want to think about being in a part of Palm Coast on, on, you know, the, within the saltwater canals, if that's where you want to be, that doesn't have any fixed bridges. There are certain parts of those canal systems that do have fixed bridges, but there's one particular section of Palm Harbor that doesn't have any fixed bridges. We call that sailboat country. Who would have thought? sailboat country here um, in the the northeast part of palm coast within the palm harbor subdivision and that's a great place if again you've got a sailboat or a boat with a tower you don't have to worry about any fixed bridges getting out into the intracoastal waterway now what if you want to live on the intracoastal there's there's places here that are great for intracoastal waterfront living most of those areas are within HOA communities. You've got Palm Coast Plantation, you've got Grand Haven, there's Tidelands, the Sanctuary, and then we've got Island Estates over on the other side of the Intracoastal Waterway within the hammocks, uh, within the hammock area. Now, what if you want bigger water? Well, that's easy, you know. Just go to the ocean. We've got oceanfront homes and oceanfront communities here in Palm Coast as well. So we won't leave that out. Now, one of the other things that people look for when they reach out to me is they are golfers. They want to be close to a golf course. They want to live in a community that, that offers golf. We have several communities here within Palm Coast that have golf courses right within the community that are part of your HOA fees, that are part of living there. And then we also have communities that have kind of a build your own plan type kind of thing when it comes to the amenities that are offered. So you can choose to you know, partake in being part of the golf club in a particular community, or you can choose not to, but they are available. So you've got, um, the Hammett Dunes area, you've got Ocean Hammock, you have Grand Haven, a conservatory, and then there's Grand Reserve, which is not necessarily in Palm Coast, but it's very, very, very close. So those are some of the communities in town that do have 
golf courses available right inside the community and of course we have public golf courses as well within uh, the neighborhood of pine lakes we've got a golf course there and then we've got another golf course or a golf club however you like to to put it i'm not a golfer i just went golfing for the first time a couple of weeks ago and um <laughs> I'm really bad at it like I need to go practice or something um, but we also have you know a golf club up in Palm Harbor as well if uh, you'd like to go and take advantage of that so pretty much if you like to golf there's there's a place for you anywhere in Palm Coast so another thing that a lot of people ask me is you know where can we live in Palm Coast that's going to have a lot of beauty around it wooded views some people like to have water views some people like to have wooded views so in my opinion again my opinion there's a lot of the city throughout the whole city that offer wooded views honestly it just depends on how the lot is situated and if you have you know any preserved area in the back of you or if you have another house there's really a lot of things that depend on what kind of view you're gonna have when it comes to woods. But um, again, in my opinion, pretty much every subdivision in Palm Coast offers some, some level of degree of beautiful wooded views. But um, some areas that come to mind when I'm thinking of wooded views are the woodlands, um, yeah, there's actually, there's a subdivision in Palm Coast that's called the Woodlands. Um, it's known for its beautiful views, again, and um, its convenience within sort of like the, a central location within the city. It's kind of in the central Palm Coast area. Seminole Woods comes to mind. Quail Hollow comes to mind. Some HOA communities that have beautiful wooded views are Grand Haven. A lot of those properties have um, buffers in behind them that are not located, you know, on the golf course or on the intercoastal waterway. They've got a little buffer behind them, so they've got a little bit of privacy and some wooded, uh, you know, wooded views to look at there. Lehigh Woods has a lot of wooded views available. Pine Lakes. Again, really, it's just, in my opinion, the majority of Palm Coast, um, the subdivisions have some level of degree when it comes to wooded views. Um, another thing that people ask me a lot is, you know, what part of Palm Coast do I need to be looking in if I want to be super close to the hospital? Well, if you've watched any of my other videos and my pros and cons video, I talked about how centrally located the hospital is so you're pretty much not going to be too far away from the hospital in any direction you go but if you're wanting to be super close like within five-ish minutes of the hospital um, Seminole Woods is a great place to look as far as the neighborhood is concerned uh, the northern part of Seminole Woods um, Pine Grove is very close certain parts of um, the the city that are off of Old Kings Road, um, Toscana, Hidden Lakes, um, they're not very far from the hospital either. They're very centrally located to that. But here's the thing, news, news. We're getting another hospital in Palm Coast. They're actually building it on Palm Coast Parkway towards the northern side of the city. So we're gonna have a hospital on the south side of Palm Coast and then we've got a new hospital being built in the northern side of Palm Coast. So we're gonna have the entire city covered, very convenient for everyone. Something else that also comes up a lot is the fact that we have an airport here in Flagler County. So it's a private airport, but we do have um, the National Guard that flies in and out of there. We have a couple of flight schools over at the airport. Um, and of course, there's corporate flights that come in and out of there as well. So there's a couple of neighborhoods that are um, in the flight path of the airport. And there are some people that do not want that 
there are some people that don't mind that and there are some people who love that because they like airplanes and they love seeing them fly over. So if you're wanting to stay away from the flight path of the airport, um, you might want to stay away from the subdivisions of Seminole Woods, the northern part of Seminole Woods, and Quail Hollow. So those are two neighborhoods within the city that are in the direct flight path um, from the runways at the airport. Now, like I said, some people don't mind it and think that the airplanes are really cool. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, I'm sure there's some things that I didn't cover. I just kind of wanted to give you a brief overview of some of the main things that I'm asked when people contact me about, you know, where to look when they're moving to Palm Coast as far as, you know, what area of the city they want to move. So those are just some of the highlights that I have to share with you today, but I did promise that I would let you know what it was that I was looking for when I moved to Palm Coast. So my husband and I, we actually had jobs in Daytona Beach when we moved to Palm Coast. So it was very important to us to be able to get to Daytona within the quickest amount of time possible, but we also didn't want to um, live in a very congested part of town like we didn't want to have to go through a lot of red lights or anything like that and we needed to be close to Daytona so we chose the southern part of Palm Coast in Seminole Woods which only takes us about five minutes to get onto the interstate with two red lights that we have to pass through to get there and that's it or if we wanted to go south and hit US-1 to connect to the interstate there to get to Daytona at the time in 2010, there was only one red light at the time. Actually, I'm, I think there were two. Now there's about four or five, which is fine. Progress, right? But that's why we chose the Seminole Woods area it's because we needed to be able to get to Daytona within a reasonable amount of time. So yeah, that's why we chose Seminole Woods. Okay, so that wraps up what I have for you today. And you know, if there are any questions that you have about moving to Palm Coast, maybe there's a topic that you'd like for me to cover, reach out, let me know, drop it in the comments below, or you know, shoot me a text, an email, I'm always happy to answer any questions that you guys might have. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and smush that little bell notification down below so you never miss a beat on any of the videos that we post about what it's like to live in Palm Coast. See you later.